hinge or the hip hinge. This involves hip flexion while keeping the torso neutral. You wanna think about pulling your chest down towards the floor and pushing your hips or your butt back towards an imaginary wall behind you. You wanna keep your knees slightly unlocked, but straight. Feet should be about shoulder width apart, perhaps slightly closer. And as you descend into the hip hinge, you'll be feeling a massive stretch in your hamstring. You should keep your chest proud, shoulders pulled back, and your chin in a neutral position. But push through the entire foot to engage the posterior chain musculature, the hamstrings and the glutes, to leverage your body back up to standing position. Now the primary musculature engaged in a hip hinge will be the glutes and the hamstrings, as well as the lumbar spinal erectors. You may also feel soreness in your upper back and lats after you engage in a heavy hip hinge session. Dr. Good, into your back. Thank you.